in order to even entertain Bitcoin, you have to have one thing in your brain. You have to kind of acknowledge that governments across the world are going to continue to print money and debase their own currencies to solve problems because <clears throat> it's politically expedient. If you don't think that, you'll never come around on Bitcoin, ever. So that's what I found. Bitcoin is, some okay. people are like, it has okay. no purpose, no sense. Right. But that's why people are using it. That's how BlackRock is marketing it. They even show a chart of the purchasing power of the dollar since the Fed was came out. You used to see those charts like in the deep corners of crypto Twitter. Now right. BlackRock is out there traveling the world showing people this chart. So that to me is what people are using it for, uh, especially in the emerging markets. That's where actually holding it directly, I think, even has more of an appeal. In, in the US, a little less so. But I think people do like to have that feeling like their real return might not be as bad if you have a little Bitcoin. If Bitcoin breaks, does it noodle for years and gradually go down? Or do you worry about suddenly? Yeah, so I, certainly. I mean, I just think that if the other coins to me have a little more of that potential, I think Bitcoin is different. I think it is like a digital gold. Why is Bitcoin different from the Doge? Yeah, because in, in my opinion, Bitcoin is truly decentralized. It really is. It's based off of uh, Cold War uh, military technology. And so there's decentralized computers. There's no CEO. And in a time where, uh, you know, governments can control the monetary supply with such force, uh, I think there'll always be some demand for that. The other thing is it has survived like four or five certain deaths. You know, it's like a cockroach. Well, is uh, it, it keeps coming back. Is it surviving so, because of the constraint of countable supply versus gold in the Gilded Age? They found the Yukon to save gold? I think both can survive. I think you're going to find uh, gold always will have a use. People want to wear jewelry. That, no. Gold has that. Lisa, take a note of it. <laughs> Bitcoin, though, I think the, not only is its resiliency, that's what first made me respect it, at least. I didn't understand. I'm like, man, it keeps coming back from like near certain death. And then it comes back, it makes new all-time highs. That's one. And I think the energy and the enthusiasm of its believers is – I'm not sure you can really um, eliminate that and extinguish it. It's it, – there is a religious aspect to it, and the, it's a fervor. And so I wouldn't totally put, say it would go to zero. Uh, but I do feel like there could be a face-ripping sell-off uh, between now and you know the next couple of years that these ETF people – are going to have to deal, but I think they'll deal with it better than, than people think.